This video explains how to install, license, and configure ASIC video applications on an Axis ACAP compatible camera encoder. To begin, go to the Axis web tool and click on Setup. Then, click on Applications. As you can see, no application is running so far. To get ASIC video application package, go to the ASIC website and click on the Secure Access. Then, enter your username and your password. Click on Packages and choose either RPEG3 or RPEG4 package in function of your access device. Once the download is complete, go back to the Axis web tool and choose the ASIC package you just downloaded. Then, upload this package to your Axis device. So now, as you can see, the ASIC package has been uploaded to the device, but it is not licensed yet. So to license it, click on Activity Detection and then on License. And choose the license file that ASIC provided to you. Click on Install. So if you go back to the Applications menu, you can see that the ASIC applications is now licensed but it is not running yet. So to run it, you just have to click on the Start button. So we have just seen how to install and license ASIC video applications on an ASIC ACAP compatible camera or encoder. Now, we are going to see how to configure it, ASIC video applications analytics. To help you within this configuration, ASIC provides you a wizard, but uh, we will not use it this time. So the first step is to specify the context of your scene. It can be indoor, outdoor, etc. Here it's outdoor. You also need to calibrate the camera view to correctly handle the scene depth and estimate the size of an object. To do so, you will have to draw several segments of the same size within your image. Here, I choose to use the poles within the fence because I know these poles have the same height at different depth points within the image, namely 1.8 meter. Now we need to draw the region of interest in which we want to, uh, to detect activities and to define detection rule. Important things to note is that this uh, region of interest is a 2D plane on the ground. Now we'll specify the class of objects. It can be a person, vehicle, based on their size and on their speed. Here we want to detect person. And as uh, the scenario we choose to, uh, to illustrate here is a perimeter protection. We will define some uh, cross lines that will generate uh, alarms. So first we will draw two cross lines within the fence area. So we specify also the crossing directions from the parking lot. So outside of the site to inside of the site. And uh, we will also draw a third cross line closer to the building to indicate when the person will get very close to the sensitive site. So now everything is ready to define the detection rules. So ASIC provides uh, different detection rules from presence in region, line crossing, stationary object, and motion detection. The first detection rule we'll implement here is presence in a region. So object class is one, it's like person, and we can also play with tracking distance and duration. The second rule will be multiple crossing within the fence area. So we'll generate alarm when the first line will be crossed and then when the second one will be crossed. And finally, the last detection rule will be a simple line crossing when the crossing line number three will be crossed. We can also play with some parameters like sensitivity if you want to be more reactive to events. And we can also play with how much information we want to display on the live view of the sequence. So now everything is done and don't forget to save your configuration. Now if you click on main page, you will have a live stream of the sequence with the configuration and with overlays of the region of interest of the crossing lines, etc. So we can see that uh, when a person is moving within the region, the rule number one, like presence in region, has generated an alarm. 
when the two first cross lines are crossed with this person, rule number two generates an alarm, and the same with the rule number three.